As we get further along into the heart of winter, I made it a goal to take more Colorado trips this season. After experiencing Aspen for the first time last week, in episode 11, we find ourselves in the San Juan Mountains to check out Telluride Mountain Resort on a warm, warm day. I feel like I'm having deja vu a little bit. I am back at the Grand Junction Loves truck stop that I stayed at on our way to Aspen. I just could not drive any longer, so I stopped here. I wanted to get up earlier than I did now to start to get on the road, but I've just been so exhausted. I drove till about like 11.30 last night, and by the time I got gas and got the van situated, um, yeah. But I have myself a large car. Look at this thing as big as my head and the plan is to just motor two and a half hours to tell you ride just enjoy the day Another episode of season three. This is episode 11 of season three, and we made it out here to tell you ride. I think there's like four or five parking lots between like the upper mountain spots and then like down in the village. So I just chose the free one. My first time here, like I don't know what lot is best to get around, all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna, I'm sure I'll learn from this parking lot. You guys will let me know that this probably wasn't the best one, but it's free, which is pretty nice. Telluride is known for some of the best inbounds terrain really in the country, but unfortunately it seems like a lot of their upper mountain stuff like Palmyra Peak, the Gold Hill Chute, stuff like that are actually closed. And even driving in here, I was surprised at just how little snow there was around on the ground and stuff like that. So this is a whole new mountain range. We're in the San Juan Mountains. So it should still be a beautiful weekend of skiing, but it's probably gonna be pretty big. I didn't really have the chance to go to the store. It's just, it's just been a crazy weekend getting here and, and everything else, but some turkey bacon, some eggs with some hash browns, um, and I had some of the sour bread. I don't have cheese, I don't have anything, I don't have anything special, but this is just, this is gonna have to do for now, and then we will get out on the mountain because it's getting, it's getting kind of late, and I wanna make sure we have enough time to explore. very warm day here in Telluride and now we are on the usual hunt to figure out how to get on the mountain and how to get up to the top. First time ever here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Enjoy your day. You too. Thank you. Well, note to self, when you're at Telluride, you have to take your pass out of your pocket for them to scan it. The only other place I've been there that does that is Snow Basin and Sun Valley. So add Telluride to that list, but at least we made it onto the lift. It is so warm, it's a bit concerning. Look at this right under the lift. This is all just like mud and rocks. There's literally like a layer of snow on dirt. That is brutal. I mean, maybe this traditionally doesn't get a lot of snow, but look at just like the mountains behind me, the hillside on the other side, like just completely brown. Wow. That lift was called Coonskin, I believe, which is kind of an interesting name for a ski lift here. Oh, this is a beautiful setting. Someone said it's kind of like the Alps, and it definitely kind of has that feel where it's just massive, massive peaks, but 
I have no idea where I'm going, so I gotta look at a map. I was calling out to me. I saw a board at one of the sort of mid stations and it said they have a 47 inch base. So I thought I saw 67, but I might have saw 47. Very, very thin coverage for sure. This might be one of the most beautiful mountains I've ever been to. I mean, these rocks behind me, I'm at a place called Revelation Bowl. So I kind of made it up to the top sort of conglomerate of lifts and I figured to kind of check some stuff out here and then work our way around for the day. But looks like a pretty fun bowl not super big but um, looks like there's a bunch of bumps some groomer chalk right there it looks actually pretty good in the chalk and cover Chalking moguls on one sixteen hundred foot. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay. not bad snow it's just not a lot of it so it's kind of death defying but the lift down here at the bottom of this bowl there's like an overlook viewpoint so did about three or four runs up there it's actually skiing really nice for the lack of snow so i'm gonna check out the views up here because For me, the highlight of this trip was being able to hike Palmyra 
Peak, which is a two hour hike that takes you up to 13,200 feet of elevation, 1,300 vertical, um, and it's way up there. But unfortunately, because of the lack of snow, um, is my guess, it is closed. But the hike is open kind of about like halfway to a point called Black Iron Bowl, which is around 12,400 feet. So we're still, we're gonna go up there while we have the time. It's gonna close soon. Um, it shows it's about a 30 minute hike, only 400 feet of vertical, so it should be a lot more manageable. Um, but I wanna do this before they close it. And then basically the hike kind of stays open the closer you stay. So if we do the far one first, then we can kind of work our way down the other chutes. So we're basically at the end of it here and we're gonna hike right to the boundary there. But I wanna maybe drop in a little bit before and do this dihedral shoe. It seems pretty cool. I've been spotting it from the lift, um, pretty narrow. And it looks like you'll get a lot of vert in there. So I might just come up to this sort of midpoint and do this one first. And then we can work the rest of these shoots with whatever they keep. Oh, cool. What's your name? Eric. Eric. I hit you up on Instagram. A little bit ago. Oh, did you? Two weeks ago. Okay. It was a pretty nice hike. A few steep inclines towards the end there, but we made it up to the top. And I think we're right on the top of the chute that we want to get in. It looks pretty good. Looks like it definitely gets kind of narrow. Reminds me of uh, like main chute over at Alta. So patrol was actually doing their sweep as we were going up just to make sure kind of closing this thing down. So we got basically the last hike up. So out of respect to them, I'm going to hurry off this ridge and work our way down the chute. Mowgli in here. No, it's just so chalky. Nice. Oh, this was really nice. iron bowl ridge thing that we were just on but we can't hike back to where we just were it's close now um, but i think i'm going to see how many of these we can farm before this whole thing closes this lift closes at 315 i think it's about 230 so we could probably do two potentially three more if we really rip um, but it looks like this is gonna be a little bit more tricky conditions a lot more moguls a lot more ski up it'll be fun
made it up here to the top of the hike again for the third time or the second time. Not really sure. But we're ripping laps. We're gonna try to drop in from the very top here. It looks pretty steep coming off the cornice, but should be pretty sweet. Looks like I just missed the cutoff. Literally, they are closing the lift right now. I think I was one of the last people up. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the final run that I had planned, but we still squeezed out two more in there. So it looks like now I gotta rip a few lifts to get back over to kind of where we started. So it's gonna be an event getting down there. But hey, we skied right, right to the bell. <laughs> Um, and I think we got a taste of some of their most difficult terrain that's open. Yeah, this place is a, this is a big boy mountain. Ride has some incredible terrain. I gotta, I hate ranking resorts, but I, I gotta say it's right up there with some of the best resorts like Snowbird, Alta, Jackson Hole. And I'm just bummed out that we couldn't get into some of the more challenging stuff like the Gold Hill Shoots and right up to Palimere Peak or whatever it's called. So I will certainly be coming back here and I think it is smart to come here with a partner and not do some of these by yourself because they are they are no joke and especially going up to 13,000 feet um, that is that's pretty legit so super stoked um, on the day I really do think we made the best of it we skied nearly every sort of upper mountain thing we could and for the thin snow cover I do think the snow was actually pretty good it was very chalky all over the mountain all throughout the day I want to check out the town of Telluride while I, while I have a little bit of daylight left I typically do these trips and always get snubbed out of seeing the place I'm actually in so I'm gonna load up the van and try to head downtown into Telluride <music> Got the buffalo chicken pizza, six hot wings. It's gonna be well needed. Cookies and cream, red velvet cupcake. You guys already know what time it is. I drove about 30, no, 40 minutes outside of Telluride and kind of around towards Silverton and I'm staying at this overlook just like at the top of a pass kind of a really sweet spot I think I got a little bit of altitude sickness for like the first time in a while I don't even remember the last time I had altitude sickness but when I was eating dinner I just started to feel like really nauseous and I just started feeling crappy so I just chugged a bunch of water and now I'm all good so I think that I think that was like early onset altitude sickness which was interesting but tomorrow I'm doing cat skiing in Silverton which is supposedly a really beautiful sick place so I'm super stoked for that trying to make the most of my trip down here to the San Juan Mountains in the Telluride area so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I had a ton of fun at Telluride today just super stoked 
being out in the mountains and exploring new places. So um, let me know what you thought of the video and be sure to tune in next time um, to see the continuation of this weekend trip. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in this. I'll see you guys in the next episode.